Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Frey from FD Touch, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to create a waving flag in Cinema 4D. Uh, I'm just going to show you a quick little edit I did. As you can see, they're waving pretty roughly towards the wind, and uh, you can edit it, of course, so it gets affected by the wind in any way you want. Um, I will probably, most likely, be including this template in the description so look out for the link. Um, I have to find a website that's not gonna get removed by the government though. But it's a pretty nice uh, template, and it's got one single light. It's pretty basic. Um, you could fit your whole scene around the flag, or you could render it um, and then place it wherever you'd want. Although one bad thing about uh, making this waving flag is you can't move it. It's uh, pinned to that position. So, I'm sorry guys, if you want to uh, use it in anything, you're not going to be able to move it though. Um, so let me just show you how to, I created this. And it's really simple. I'm just going to start off by actually making the cylinder. And I'm not going to put uh, make it too detailed. I'm just going to have it like a basic pull. And of course you could add your own textures. The textures you saw in the previous template uh, are all in the Cinema 4D library so you can actually just download the save file and the texture should all be there and the actual flag is simply a plane just make it flag shaped and then you want to want to rotate it on 90 degree and uh, that's generally how you create a flag Okay, now you want to pick your endpoints, which is going to be here. Okay, I want to make sure it's in the center. Uh, that looks pretty good. So, I'm going to go ahead, move it slightly a little bit more, and make this editable. Now, what I'm going to do is go and right click on the plane, go to cloth tags, and click cloth. Now, right now, there's nothing going on that's why you need to go to dresser and right where it says fixed points you're going to want to go over here and grab this as it's a lot easier because it'll select uh, just by dragging it over that and you're going to want to click your nerbs and then you're going to want to go over the nerbs you want to make sure you grab every single one missing no, not one at all so you're going to want to get a really nice angle so you don't so you can make sure you don't miss one at all and that I think I didn't miss any and after that go back to the cloth tags and click fix points and click set now what you're gonna see is that it actually is pinned to the pole now and it'll stay on the pole let me make this a little longer and course it has no dynamics right now so it's just flopping around in the wind going through the pole pretty weird right now what we're gonna really want to do is go onto the cloth and go to forces and now uh, this is where we control the dynamics for it um, these are some settings that I used for the template um, and I think it gives you a really good result. The gravity, you don't want it too high. You don't want it uh, to be positive because if it is positive, gravity is going uh, invert. It's going to be inverted, so the flag is going to be um, instead of dropping, it's going to be going up. So a negative two gravity makes sure it stays perfectly well. Uh, 24 wind direction is what I recommend, as it just makes it being pushed. Um, in a s simple, you know, x-axis, or though you could drop it, and uh, just make it a 1.6, 1.7, anything between that, maybe a 2.0 centimeter wind direction for z-axis, and that makes it so it's basically moving back and forth. Now for the wind strength, you want to make it semi-strong, not very strong, but semi-strong, such as 6.6, .6, and trust me, 6.6 .6 is pretty strong when it comes to the wind strength as you can see right now look at that that's 6 and it's moving pretty strong 
Now, if you move it like anything, like say 50, watch what happens. It just gets completely annihilated by the hurricane, apparently. So that's why I recommend just having six. Now, for the wind turbulence, you can leave it as it is. That's really good. And basically, you can leave everything else as is. I haven't really messed around with it too much, but as this gave me the result that I want in the first place. And that's basically how you create a flag. You can add any texture you want to the flag itself or to the pole, make it metal. You could have a nice cloth texture, a logo on here, or maybe even a animation. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and feel free to leave a like and share it with your friends so they can learn how to create flags in a 3D editing software. And uh, until next time, guys, this has been Freight Darkness from FD Tuts. Hope you enjoyed. Freight Darkness out.